YouTube, Kurt Curtis. I'm a part-time eBay seller and dividend stock investor. I take all the money I make from my side gig selling on eBay and I invest into dividend stocks. Most of the videos on this channel are about eBay. However, once a month, I like to go over my dividend income just to kind of track my progress and hopefully inspire people to see what's possible. I'm still in the beginning stages of uh, dividend stock investing, so it's gonna take a while, but it's cool to track the progress. So I'm gonna go over all the payments I got this month. Uh, first up, ticker symbol J&J, &J, Johnson & Johnson. I got $17.61 from them. Next up, uh, ticker symbol MMM 3M. I got $16.70 from them this month. Next up, uh, ticker symbol KO Coca-Cola. I got $10.44 from them. Next up, ticker symbol SCHD. This is an ETF. I got $15.42 from them. Next up, we got ticker symbol MCD McDonald's. I got $7.83 from them. Next up, ticker symbol O, Realty Income. I got $5.44 from them this month. Next up, ticker symbol PEY. I got $4.59 from them. That was an ETF as well. Next up, LTC, uh, LTC Properties. I got $4.34 from them this month. Next up, ticker symbol SPHD. This is another ETF. I got $15.46 from them. And last up for the month, ticker symbol SPLV, another ETF. I got $2.33 from them. So this month, my total dividend payments were $100.16. And this is my first $100 month ever. Just barely made it over, just 16 cents over. But this is a huge milestone. This is a huge goal. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but $100 passive income for the month is just, it's really good. It's its just so nice, such a good feeling just to have that. Now, um, obviously I'm reinvesting my dividends because I don't want to stop there. So, you know, in a way I'm getting $100 worth of stocks before I even start to contribute. So um, yeah, it's really cool how all that works. Uh, the snowball is starting to roll. So with, um, with dividend stock investing, it's just really hard and grindy at the beginning. And it just takes a long time to get going. But the further along you get to, you get uh, going with it, uh, the faster it just accelerates. So um, I've been investing for more than a year and a half. But the I'd say like the first year and a half I was investing was just very little amounts. It wasn't a consistent basis and all that. So um, as far as consistently investing, um, I used to do it monthly. Now I do it weekly just because of how the eBay payments work. Um, I've been doing that for about a year and a half now. So um, it pretty much took me about a year and a half to get to $100 a month. And um, it's going to take less than that to get to 200 Like each, each time, it's just going to take less and less time because if you're reinvesting dividends um, and companies are raising dividends and you're consistently adding to your portfolio as well, it should take me a lot less time than a year and a half to get to the first $200 a month. Um, I'm going to go... Uh, into more of my goals and everything in a separate video, uh, just um, reviewing my whole year overall. But um, yeah, this is this is a huge milestone for me and um, I wasn't expecting to get here this fast. However, this is just one month. I am not getting $100 per month. I have some months that are um, just higher payments than others, just depending on what companies are paying what month. So like next month, I know for sure I'm not gonna get $100, not even close to it. So it isn't $100 a month consistently every month as of yet, but this is the first time I actually hit 100 in one month, which is really nice. So um, in December uh, 2019, I got $48.15. So you can see the progress there just over one year. Um, and as far as dividend raises go, I only had one company um, raise their dividend uh, during this payment. Um, this is not including ETFs. ETFs are kind of all over. This is just individual stocks. Uh, McDonald's was paying $1.25 per share and they raised it to $1.29 per share. So that is always nice to see that happen. But yeah, that's going to be all for this video. Uh, next week, I should have a video going over my whole year in review of dividend stock investing. Till next time.